This is an overview of the background switcher widget by Limited Elements. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining, it's Amit from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the background switcher which is actually a section with items that you can add as many items as you want and once you hover over an item that will switch the background for the whole section. So the first settings over here are inside of the content tab. In the content tab we can change the direction from horizontal to vertical that will just make them stack one over the other instead of being one beside each other. Over here in hover duration, we can make the duration, for example, one and a half seconds. And now when I hover over these, the animation, the fade of the image will be a lot slower and also the animation for the text. We can turn off or on each part of the items. So title, description, and button. So for example, if I take off the button, now these are just content boxes without a call to action button. Let's turn that back on. Inside of items, we can manage our items. This adapts automatically to any amount of items. So if I delete one of the items, you can see now there are three columns instead of just four. Let's add a new item and see how this adapts nicely to any image that we put inside. Let's find a nice image, maybe this one, for example. Let's click insert and see how that image looks. Look how nice that adapts. Inside of the items, you can put a title, a description, and a text. That's about it. Let's jump into style. Over here in style, we can change the height of this whole section. Now, take in mind this is a responsive field, so you can give a different height for tablet and mobile. Overlay color, there is an overlay color over the images. This is because usually text without an overlay is hard to read when it's on an image. Let's turn back to black with an opacity. Let's push up the opacity a little bit more just so we can see the text a little bit more. Over here we have an option to change the border color. So you can change that to whatever you want. I'm not going to touch it. Content padding is the padding around the content area over here. We can align the text differently. For example, if you want to align it to the center. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it aligned to the center. And item width on mobile. I'll go to the setting later on when we show mobile. Let's jump into title. So in title, you can change all of the settings. Space under the title, title color, and title typography. Same thing for description. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Everything is understandable. I'm not going to touch this. And inside of button, we can also design the button. For example, I can make my button rounded if I want using button radius. We can change the button width to be thicker. And uh, you can do actually anything you want. Button style, you can make it that your button full width instead of being inline. And that's about it. About responsive mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump back into style. And over here, we're going to move into mobile. And once we're in mobile, first of all, the height is too big. So I'm going to give it a different height for mobile. And you can see that the items are now uh, being able to be scrolled horizontally. This will be enabled on touch. I'm going to show this soon on inspect mode inside of the browser. Before I do that, let's show this setting over here, which actually says how wide each item will be. Now, what you want to do is you want to leave a little bit of the next item. You don't want to see only one item because then the user won't understand that he can scroll this horizontally. So let's click update to save. And I'm going to view this inside of my browser. Click inspect to check it out. And right now we're on iPhone 6, 7, 8. And the first thing I wanted to show is that once a user clicks, the text will be left on. So this is working with focus and he can use his finger to swipe around each one of these. And once he clicks on a item that will switch the background for the section, just as it does on hover on desktop. So that was just important for me for you to understand how this works on mobile. 
I want to thank you guys for joining and I'll see you in the next video.